and welcome back to the channel and on this video we are commuting in the rain and I know some people are completely against riding in the rain but it doesn't bother me as long as you dress for it uh, it's not cold out I don't call this cold anyway 48 degrees so it's not bad that way I mean, yeah, it's not a, it's not sunny and 70 degrees, but if you want to ride your bike here in Oregon year round or close to it, then this is one of the elements you got to deal with. It rains a lot here, particularly in the fall and winter. So we don't get as cold, but we get wet. So uh, we're navigating around, missing the puddles. Actually at the moment, it's only a very light spray of a rain not really doing much at the moment it was just a few minutes ago but it has since basically almost stopped not quite my glasses will tell you it's not stopped because there's raindrops on my glasses that's one thing for sure you want to do when you're riding in the rain or at any time really is protect your eyes because Anyone who's ridden knows that, first of all, in the rain, like this, you're, the raindrops in your eyes is not fun. And it's hard to see. You can't really see, to be honest. And it stings. It stings your eyes. Because I've done it before where I forgot my glasses and went out and, uh, and then realized, hey, I forgot my glasses and I didn't want to turn back. and. Uh, yeah, it wasn't, it's not fun. But the other thing is, even when it's not raining or wet, in the, like in the summer and that, you can get uh, bugs in your eye, coming into your eyes too. And that's not fun. Then you're dealing with a bug in your eye, trying to get that out while you're riding. You basically have to come to a stop and get the bug out of your eye. And just the wind too. So I would say uh, an important article to wear when riding your bike at all times is a pair of glasses. We are in the first week of January here and no snow here right now but next week we'll see what happens but they are saying possibility of some snow so we'll see what happens but there hasn't really been a whole lot of snow like a lot of places have kind of dodged the snow this year so far. Wow, look at the crap in the bike lane. Am I surprised? No. Oh, look at that. That's one reason why I absolutely I'm not a big fan of riding in the bike lane if I can ride with traffic on the road 
and keep up. I'd rather do that. You gotta watch when you're riding at all times, but particularly when it's wet, riding on that white line there, the one that's dividing the bike lane with the main road, that thing, it gets very slippery. I mean, it's slippery when it's not wet, but it's even more when it's wet. You definitely want to be careful of that. waiting for me. I just wanted to get through, navigate through all the crud that's in the uh, bike lane. Look at this. It almost looks like a horse or a cow or something. A barn animal has been through here. And dropped their droppings. All right, maybe we're past that now. Now I have no choice but to ride with the cars here in the roadway because there's no bike lane. Honestly, this is how I like it anyway um, because I think it's actually more safe and there's no crap on the road. I like it or very little compared to on the side. If I had to make one complaint, my biggest complaint about those bike lanes, that's it, the debris. Absolutely do not like it. Oh, the rain's picked up now, I can feel it. This is the time that actually a full-face motorcycle helmet actually is the best. First of all, it keeps you nice and warm. Secondly, if it's a full-face helmet, which I have, it keeps you nice and dry. Whereas this way, I've got the x -Nido helmet And your face is still exposed, your cheeks and stuff. And so the raindrops can actually sting a little bit when it's cold outside. And when it's coming down pretty good, like right now, I can feel it.
If you want to make a comment on this video about riding in the rain, I know it's not the first time I've ridden in the rain and it won't be the last, but let me know if you're, uh, if you're like me and you just brave the rain, it doesn't bother you, or are you uh, a rider that says, uh, when it's raining, I'm out. And hey, if you like this video, hit that like button. And if you want to be uh, or subscribe to the channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe as we're closing in on 2,000 subscribers. And that's pretty cool. And as I record this on the 4th of January, my channel is actually a year and a half old today, so pretty cool to be sitting at just about 2,000 subscribers 18 months into this. It started out and still is a hobby, which I am enjoying very much. And I'm thankful to all the uh, subscribers who have helped me uh, grow the channel and looks like we're uh, not going to stop here. We're going to keep it going. We'll see where we can take it to. And if you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel, just hit that notification bell and it'll give you the alert that a new video has been posted onto the channel. Normally the videos go up at 9 a.m. my time here in Oregon. So that's in Eastern time zone. That would be noon. That's usually the time that they go up. And then I usually, I've been putting up short videos if you want to check those out. And I usually schedule those to go up at 4 a.m. local time, so about 7 a.m. Eastern time. So thanks for joining me on this one, and we'll catch you on the next video.